Once release planning is done, let's look at the very first iteration of the release and do the iteration planning for that. It's also known as sprint planning from Scrum point of view. Scrum framework uses the term called sprint to represent the time box which Lean and Kanban use as iteration. Iteration and sprint are synonymous. Let's look at uh, iteration planning in detail. When is iteration planning done? Probably if you have done the release planning already, you already have some items bucketed as part of your iteration planning. Now the purpose of iteration planning is to make a firm commitment or firm forecast for the current iteration. Even if you have made the release planning already, uh, you have a few items that what we already have bucketed as part of the iteration planning. Now we are going to relook at those items and do a form planning so that we will have the iteration commitment possible for us. Iteration planning has two parts, part one and part two. As part of the part one, we do select the stories that we wanted to implement in this particular iteration. Part two, we explored each of these stories into the respective tasks and the list of these tasks essentially is known as sprint backlog, which is the outcome or output of the sprint planning process. The list of all the features and the business goals are nothing but the iteration goals. Now how can teams do the iteration planning? They need the top uh, priority list of stories which is as input and of course the team's velocity means the number of story points they are able to comfortably complete on an average in the last three sprints or so they can use as the average velocity and bring in that much number of stories adding up to the team's velocity. 